Hey everyone, this is Kevin Breding with Campus Recreation Fitness. Hey, I wanted to talk today about running and uh, preparation for your ankles when you go out for a run. I think it's pretty common to just hit the pavement or hit the trails and start moving around and you might do some general stretches and moving around and things like that, but specifically for your ankle, uh, it has to absorb a lot of force when you're out running around. Every foot strike is one foot at a time and there's a lot of body weight on top of it and the dynamic impact of that is significant. And so if we properly prepare your ankles and your calves uh, and the tissue surrounding all those places, then I think we can have a more successful run. So enjoy these drills. The first place to start if you have a foam roller is to use it. It's a great way to move fluid around the tissue. Uh, start with this long strokes in terms of you start at the foot and you roll up the top of the muscle belly. And if you don't have quite enough pressure, you can stack one leg on top of the other to create more downward pressure against the roller. And then I do this rocking back and forth or uh, kind of rolling side to side on that. And I separate my calf into three areas, the lower portion, and then this is the middle portion. And then I move up again for the high portion. I just go three back and forth, back and forth. And then I start back at the bottom and now I get some open chain movement where I roll my foot around in those same three areas. So now I move to the middle section, maybe three rolls. And then I move up to the top section and I go three more rolls. And I could do that both directions with my foot. And then I transition to a rub and scrub of my, of my shin. So that anterior tibialis muscle has to decelerate every foot strike. And getting some friction, some cross friction against that is great. A foam roller can work. If you want to use your hand for that same purpose, go ahead. And now I'm going to move to a standing open chain action. So just balancing on one foot, I'm going to plantar flex and dorsiflex, meaning point my toes and pull them back up. And then I draw circles, about three to five circles each direction with my free floating toes. Then I move into a closed chain dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. So with my feet on the ground, I drive my knees forward over my toes and then stand back up. And that's going to put a little bit more weight and pressure into that dorsiflexed position. And then I move into closed chain ankle circles. I kind of use my hands to press my knees against. I'm squeezing my hands with my knees and I work through circles on each direction. And I can allow my toes to lift up and I allow my heels to lift up as I roll through those circles. Next I transition to a standing position. And I'm gonna balance on that foot and drive my free foot away and to the outside as I rotate. But I'm really trying to dig into the ground and grab it with my grounded foot. That's gonna introduce some transverse plane motion. And then I swing that free foot back and forth. A similar idea, but just a little bit different. I get more behind when I go into that back swing. Perform maybe five reps on each leg with both the side shift with that free foot and then five more swings front to back. And then the last drill to tie everything together is a whole body dynamic drill. I start from a still half kneeling position and explosively drive up out of it. And that's going to ask everything to fire a little bit quicker so that when I get out for my run, then the things are a little more responsive to whatever they come across. So try these drills, see if they feel good. They should serve you well. Uh, I hope you enjoy your run. Thanks for tuning in.